So, you remember when we first met? It's pleasant, huh? Oh yeah. What a day. Hey Miss Catherine, there's a there's a new girl in the hallway. And she is gorgeous. Travis. Thank you. Go back to class, Travis. Hello. Hello. I'm Miss Catherine, the principal. I'm Sherry. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Welcome, Sarah. Mm -hmm. And this, I have a welcome kit for you. Thank you. And I'll be showing Sarah her class. <laughs> class, Miss Nicole, this is your new student, Sarah. Hey, hello. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Scoot you over. Can I have my seat right here? Don't be shy. Smells like a locker in the room. It smells? Well then, it must be your cheap designer knockoff perfume. It smelled fine until you came in. Who <laughs> snap, pretty girl. Flounder, Flounder, my computer. Can you help me? Flounder. Check the printer, Miss Catherine. So, are you geeks going to dance together? I'm not a geek. And why do you care anyways? You and your snob friends don't have anything to do with us. Whatever. Flounder, it's still not printing. Flounder. Sadie will come help you. School's out at one. I expect you to be here. And behave. Whatever. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Tiffany. That was Travis who gave you a seat. And this is Joseph. He's the clown of the class. What's up? That's my boyfriend, Josh. And that's a Jimmy. Hey. He's cool. He writes most of the songs that we're going to be dancing to tomorrow. That's Forrest. Yeah. That's Michaela. And you've met Becca and Charity, so. Yeah, that's nice. Sadie, is the red light on? It's out of paper, idiot. Give me a B-R-E-K break, all right? Hey, Tiff. You going to the dance room tomorrow? Of course I am. All right, cool. Say rap. Dude. What? Did I say that loud? Hey, so, uh, I know you don't know anything about it, but you want to come to our dance floor? I mean, you're new, but it'll give you a great chance to get to know me. So, I mean, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry Way to go, Travis and Gaga. Ooh, snap again. Oh, no, he did. Yeah, I think it'd be a great way for you to get to meet everybody at the church. <laughs> my mom's made me go church things my whole life. Sick of it, frankly. Just a bunch of fakes. No, that's not true. Not at my church. I've been going to this church my whole life. We're like a big family. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who are actually putting on this dance. What type of dance is it? Homecoming, what? No, it's just, you know, just a dance. Just to hang out, have fun. 
to meet new people. Mm. David, mm. you going with anybody? Nope. Um, guys, I thought we were going as a group. Yeah. yeah. Get back to work. You know what, guys? It's getting a little bit late. Why don't you take your break now, okay? Hey, Sarah, come on. I want to talk to you. Good idea. Oh, Sarah, if you need any help with, like, your computer or your homework or anything, Sadie and Flounder are the ones to call. Please, Tiffany, to call Sadie would be superfluous. You simply need to call, text, email, or I am, because I am always here to further your education for betterment. Oh my gosh, Flounder, <laughs> you're too much. Oh, and my mom, my mom teaches the little, little ones. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is my mom. All right, kids, come back to your seats. <laughs> mom, this is Sarah. Hi, Sarah, it's nice to meet you. Hi. I don't think you should be doing that. So what's the deal with you and your mom? It seems like she doesn't trust you. No, she trusts me. It's just schools and I don't really get along. Oh, aren't those kids cute? It seems like they kind of bothered you. No, it's not that at all. I mean, I have... Tiffany! It's complicated. Uh, Tiffany! gotta go. Well, that's my mom. I have to go. Will I be seeing you at the dance? Maybe. Well, I hope you go. Okay. Bye. Hey baby, how was school? I just broke a heel. Did you see that? I'm in hillbilly hell. Is everybody gone? Charity! Hey, Charity! What? How about that new girl? Can you believe she said our room stank? I know, right? What a skinny skank. Is that a really nice guy at school today? Really? Yeah. About it. Oh, he gave me his chair and everything. Oh, yeah, dude, that's nice. Yes, yeah, that's I've nice. Seen this one. That's nice. Just try this, though. I, don't, I mean, I don't, know. I don't know if it's for me. This stuff smells pretty good, though. <laughs> that bad, huh? I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> Mom, where's my pants? I can't find them. Mother! Mother, dear! I prepared a sumptuous dinner for you. Honey, you know I can't dance on a full stomach. Now, get in here and let me see what you're wearing. Whoa, dang that time. I look H-O-T hot. Thanks, Mom, for letting me go. Of course, your first date's important. Your dad and I trust you. Besides, we're chaperoning. Hey, you know what I think? I really think that new girl, you know, Sarah, I really think she likes Travis. No, it's more like Travis likes her. One was big, mm -hmm. but the other one, way bigger. <laughs> uh, can you believe her remark about our room smelling? I mean, come on, that was just rude and uncalled for. Well, at least you told her. But I did meet a really nice girl, her name was Tiffany. Mm -hmm. She's a typical nice blonde, mm -hmm. so. Mom, the 
the kitchen's done. I'm just gonna finish getting ready. Here, let me help you with your hair. Get away from me. I should've tried to help. Tiffany, can you help your sister do her hair? Mom, I tried, she won't let me. <laughs> dude, that's horrible. It's, it's new stuff, dude. Dude, no. about men who are Old Spice, don't you? We have a woman in every port. And I would just be pure when you said sail. I got change. Well, I'm simply a monogamous kind of guy. So therefore, <laughs> I'm only gonna dock in one port. Whatever. Go change. Oh, I can't believe my little girl is all grown up. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Dad, quit using my camera. You let the battery dead. Never mind, I found my pants. You better knock it up a notch if you want to get noticed. You saw that new girl at school today. I don't care. She got nothing on me. Plus, I saw Josh giving a googly eye. Leave Josh out of this, all right? You're only saying that because he doesn't give you the time of day. You know what, you're so evil. I don't care what he thinks and I don't care what you think. Plus, she looks like Minnie Mouse and Heat. Mom, she's doing it again. Dude, I just checked the clock. It's like 6.58. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Sure, sure. All right, I don't know. There's, there's a blue one over there. On the floor, on the floor. On the floor? At least I'm not a hobbit. So I'm a hobbit, but I'm a pretty hobbit. Mom, I'm gonna finish getting ready, and then I'm gonna start the car, and Caitlin's gonna feed the horse. Troll. It's just a shirt. It don't need no loving. Just put it on. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Look out, ladies. Here I come. Go! How does it feel when you're on a dance floor? When the music takes a hold of you, just let it go. What is it like with people staring? You must be Mrs. Roll J. Yes, it's nice like, to meet you. But you can make it. Thank you. And this must be Sarah. This is my daughter, Sarah. Nice We've been right. rolled during your you? school. All right. We're really excited about the dance tonight. Well, glad you can make it. Yeah. We've heard so many great things about the church from the community. All right. Hey, you young men. You coming to the dance? Yes, you got I don't know. I'm going. You going? Come on, man. No, I'm just so cool. He doesn't like me. What is there not to like? You're beautiful. Come on. What have you got to lose? Go on. Uh, okay. So, Joseph, do you want to dance with me? Yeah, no. Dude. I told you this would happen. Not cool. Told you to leave me alone. Sarah, I went by your house to see our baby, and your mom said you went out dancing. 
What a great mother you've turned out to be. Oh, so your church has dances? One of my favorite things to do. Yeah, I met a girl from there named Tiffany when I was at Cook's. She's real sweet. Are you kidding me? What, are you trying to be a goody-good? Because that's not working. Could you shut up? We need to talk. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't care what you got going on. She's such a freak. Who? Sadie. Who does she think she's anyway? We went to grade school together. Now she thinks she's so hot with that geek. You're such a witch, Katie. Just because Flounder's not into you, doesn't mean you can take it out on us. Whatever. So, you still crushing on Joseph? Are you writing a book? Because if you are, just leave this chapter out. You know, Kitty? I've had enough of your mouth. What a skinny snake. <laughs> Did you just hear that? Pig. Hey! Who the hell do you think you are? You know what? You may be new to this school, but I don't ever, and I mean ever, want to hear you bad-mouthing my friends. Oh my God, I'm Not okay. But are you alright? No, I just got assaulted by a killer whale. Try to forgive her, alright? I mean, she's been through a lot. Yeah, everyone's been through a lot. I could care less. <laughs> Why don't you just pray with me? Do you want to pray with me? Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you people? Tiff, you okay? What happened? Becca! She just bounced Sarah and she's the new girl. Ugh, I just don't understand why everybody just can't give each other a break. Just calm down, all right? Look, you're always rooting for the underdog. Honey, you gotta learn that you can't fix everybody's problems. All right, so, I know. You wanna go snowboarding tomorrow? I don't know how to snowboard. That's okay. You can be my snow bunny. Snow bunny? Hey, Travis. Travis, come here, bring Sarah. Me and Tiff are going boarding tomorrow. You in? Yeah. Hey, Sarah, you up for a little boarding? Are you kidding me? It's like one of my favorite things to do. Hey, what you guys doing? Nothing. We're going boarding. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, well, we haven't really figured it out yet. Yeah, just don't let it, don't let it get out, all right? I only want us to go, okay? Well, you guys know it gets dark by four. Don't worry about it, you don't have to go. I'm not worried about it. I just want to make sure we have as much time as possible for genuine boarding. All right, dude. Um, yeah, so if anything changes, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you. Thanks for the dance. You want to dance? No.
17 through 20. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed. A man nice butt. <laughs> Is that your new boyfriend? Fresh meat, huh? Could be. Worth taking a look at. <laughs> oh, he's headed right towards Sarah. Forget him. I don't take anybody's seconds, especially not hers. What are you doing here? What, are you following me or something? I told you to leave me alone. I'm in church. Isn't everybody invited to church? Shh. What are you doing here? You know, there was a group of the religious leaders of Israel. Why don't you give me another chance? I didn't do anything wrong. I just gave her a ride home. Can't you give a guy a break? They came to watch. They came to criticize. They came to scrutinize. Besides, look around. There's no one here. That's your speed. Did you just shut up? These people are my speed now. Part of the service, they didn't want to be ministered to by him or to learn from him. Look, Mitch, I'm not going to allow you to mess up Sarah's chance for change. You hurt her once, and I'm not going to allow you to do it again. Get saved or go home. I'll be waiting for you outside. Kind of opposition. You see, all those religious leaders that came, they came there to oppose his message to oppose what he was doing. Sarah. Thank you. Sarah. Be careful downstairs. Is this choir boy your new boyfriend? Okay. Why are you always so rude? Travis is just a friend. He's a good guy. So, Trav, you and your friend, hmm? Well, let me warn you, she's a snake. Hey, look, pal. You don't know me. I don't know you. And if she's a snake, I'll figure that out on my own. Yeah, dude? Yeah? Yeah. Stop. You will. Stop. You will. Go for Travis. Go to the van. Mitch, leave us alone. I'll be seeing you, all right? I'll be seeing you later. There's stuff we can get going right now. And then we can stop by Cooks and grab some grubbage. Too much of it. <laughs> Sarah, you're a bone bag. 
It's not like you can't afford to gain a few pounds. Can I help you? Hey, Sadie, let's get a chicken basket. Uh, and can we get a roll with some butter? And can we have some honey? And can you throw some ranch dressing in there too, please? Hey, uh, can you make that too? I didn't eat this morning. I'm S C A are starving. Hi, baby. Uh, hey, Thunder, where are we Hi, going? Baby. Uh, you finish the order and get some food. I'll go get our drinks. Hey, Flounder. Flounder. Hey, where are you going? Nowhere, Katie. What's it to you? Well, it sure looks like you're going somewhere to me. How about it, Tiff? You're not mom and dad. All right? You don't get to police everywhere I go. We're just gonna go snowboarding for a couple of hours. You? Snowboarding? <laughs> That's something to laugh about. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why do you always have to act like a witch? No, just leave me alone, all right? And just go back to doing whatever it was that you were doing with you and your little clique. Why would we bring you anyways? All you do is nag. Why don't you go back on your freaking bridge, little troll? Excuse me? What are you gonna do about it? All you are is a laugh and trash. <laughs> well, why don't you go back where you came from? Yeah, ever. Ever. Don't you Hey, you kids, right? knock it off right now. How big are you, half my size? What are you gonna do about it, Peach Fuzz? Hey, All right. knock it off. What do you guys think you're doing? Why, we don't have time for this. Tim has to be home by seven. We haven't even started leaving yet. All right, we gotta get out of here. All right, let's load up, let's go. Yeah, Tiff, run into the van just like your boyfriend says. I hope you break your neck. Hey, quit fighting and come get your food. My gosh, you kids just left church. Did you leave Jesus there? I know every single one of you, and I know your parents too. They work hard to put you in a, in a Christian school, and you're in here acting like heathens. Now, who's going to pay for that gas, and what about the food and, and drinks you guys got? Not very close. All Sorry. All right, rest of you out. Yeah, let's load up. So your food and gas comes to $69.85. So you guys are going snowboarding? Yeah, yeah. And you're going like that. Do you have anything else? Well, I got like snow pants and stuff. What? It's gonna get down below freezing tonight. Is it? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I mean, this was, this should be fine. Okay. Uh, here. Take this. All right. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Travis, present for Phyllis. Oh, thanks. Well, that was nice of her to give you this sweatshirt. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, she's pretty cool. She's actually on our uh, praise team with Travis and Tiff. Tiffany, your sister is such a piece of work. Is she like that all the time? No, she just gets carried away with her clique, you know? I don't really want to talk about Katie right now. How long have you been snowboarding? Years, I guess. I, I go to Valdez a lot, but I prefer freestyle. Free boarding's all right, but I got really good at tricks last year. Nailed them. Did you bring warm gear? I brought what I have on. I, I thought we were only going to be gone a couple of hours. Yeah, you'll be fine. I brought my new boots today. I thought I'd break them in. So, um, you, you brought me some gloves, right? No. Was I supposed to bring stuff for you? Hey, Founder. Dude, you ready to tear it up on your new board? Yeah, thing's awesome. And Sadie's never boarded before, so I'm gonna have to take my time and educate her on the fine details of boarding. Uh, yeah. And you aren't educating me on nothing. If you could do it, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I get to be Josh's snow bunny. <laughs> 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 Tiffany, do you even know what a snow bunny is? Yeah, I do. Wait, don't I? No, I do. Do I? <laughs> Am I? Uh, anyway, so uh, before you came to the academy, uh, where'd you go to school? Uh, I went to Anchorage for a little bit. I got kicked out for some stupid stuff, though. So really, this academy is my last, like, boat until... What? No, nothing. Well, yeah, until homeschool. So and I really am a social person, so I don't really want to be home stuck with my parents. So. 
you know? Yeah. You dig it? Yeah, well, I'm glad you're here now. I mean, you're pretty fun, and you're a pretty good dancer, too. Uh, I know Beck and Charity kind of gave you a hard time, you know, that, you know, it's just them, you know. We all have issues to work out. Um, but, you know, maybe one day you can get along with them. <laughs> one day, that will be the day. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's almost been an hour, and I have to pee. Well, hold your bladder, sister. Maybe Flounder can talk you out of having to go. Flounder never Googled me where we are going, and I really have to go to the bathroom. I must contest. I did email you twice. It's not my fault you're not capable to open an email. Stop the van! I have to go to the bathroom! Look, Sadie, just hold on, okay? Look, there's an outhouse at Crescent, but if you really need me to stop that bad, maybe, maybe we can pull over at the Y. <laughs> and then you could find a nice tree to lean against or something. Ah, uh, hey, you guys. It's my mom on the radio. That's sweet. What do you mean that's your mom? <laughs> he just released your new CD. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I didn't know she did music. Yep. Cool. Cool. Yeah, but we really have to watch out for the sinkholes. I mean, some of them can just get like 15 feet deep. Some of them. Place where the tourists never go. You ever been there, Sarah? Nope. No? Uh uh. Haven't you gone uh, freeboarding before? Yeah, I've held Valdez before. Oh, I know. Crescent's just a big bowl, though. Yeah. I can handle it fine, no problem. Uh, are we going all the way to the top? Isn't it a long way up there? Sadie, hurry up! Yeah, let us. These chains no longer bind me. I'm free and let it go. Cause I know there's gonna be a change. All the snow machines. Hey, I bet they could give us a ride to Launchbox. That'd be so much more rad. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hey, will you give us a ride? Where are you guys going? We're gonna shred some powder. I'm a snow bunny. You what kind of bunny? Have to know you're up here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's up, ladies? I'll give you a ride if you want. I don't think my boyfriend's really gonna like that. He wouldn't like me kissing you. He just hit me. Oh, thank God. We're going to the lunchbox to pick up our crazy survivalist buddy. So we can give you a ride if you want. So you coming or not? Hey guys, hold on. We'll get our gear. Make it work. We don't have all day. What about Bunny here? Does she know how to snowboard a place like lunchbox? <laughs> don't worry about Bunny. She's with me. Welcome to the top of Crescent. 
Isn't it beautiful up here? Oh my God. I want to go back down. How high is it? Probably 10,000 feet. That's like two miles straight down and probably nine mile hike out the backside. But this is somewhere that most people never get to see. This is Lunchbox Hill. You sure you guys are going to be all right up here? Yeah, man. Yeah, thanks for your concern though, but I, mean, I was born and raised here. I've never been lost in my life. We'll be fine. You guys take care. Make sure you get out of here before dark because it gets way below freezing. All right, man, thanks. Thank yeah. you. All right, yeah, thank no you. Problem. Take care. Watch out for those wolves. <laughs> Now, will you talk to me? No. I hope you freeze. All right, guys, let's keep it together. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. Actually, Joshua, I think the fun to risk quotient is much too high for me to consider doing this. I'm gonna walk down. Dude, no, come on. We've torn up lots of places like this. Yeah, but never lunchbox. Dude, no, come on. Come on, dude, there's plenty of daylight. Let's just get back on your board. All right, me and Travis will watch over you guys, all right? Seriously, there's we got so much daylight left. And dude, trust me, it's gonna be awesome. There's no problems. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right. Yeah, let's do it. I need help. Josh! Please. Help. <laughs> help me, please. <laughs> Are you okay? What hurts? I think I did something with my life. Yeah, you took a huge phone. Are you okay? Let me see it. Do you want me to see it? Yeah. I can't, I can't get it out of it. It's okay, I'll get it. Stay back. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? What happened? Travis! Thunder went down. What did I tell you about being careful? Josh! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, don't come off my What did I tell you about being careful? Stop, Josh. Stop. You help him up real quick. Help him up. Help him up. Guys, wait. Just not much here. Come on, stay up. Slide him down. Can you get up at all? Can you get up? Can you get up at all? <laughs> They're too far. Ah. They're too far. They're too far. Sorry. Okay, buddy. I think, I think I'm going to pass out. Josh, Travis, come on, do something. Sandra, are you sure you're okay? Kev, I think I broke my ankle. Guys, I can't go. Just leave me. No! Josh, Travis, we're not leaving Flounder out here hurt. Right now, think. Does anyone have a cell phone here? Call for help. 
I, I left mine at home, and we wouldn't get service up here anyway. Dude, whatever. We gotta hurry up. Right? I don't have any service. Maybe you guys should just leave me behind. No, no, no dude, stop. knock it off. I, I, I think I'm gonna pass out. Dude, no. You didn't knock that off right now, all right? If you would have listened to me, this wouldn't have happened. That's not true, Josh. You don't need to be such a jerk. Yeah, I have to agree with Josh, all right? You told us to be careful. Guys, this could have happened to anyone. Stop it, all of you. All right, the sun is just about to go down and it's getting cold. We have to get out of here. I know. I, that's true. I've heard that it's way below zero when, with the wind blowing and... But, uh, oh, mm, mm. Uh, oh, I also know they, they, they go snow machining somewhere around here, so there's a cabin. I'm, I'm just not sure where. Sarah, do, do you know any first aid? Well, guys, I do, but he's not walking anywhere. I can't even touch it without him screaming. All right. We have to get out of here. Let me get the board under him. Okay, guys. I got his leg. Ready? You ready? Get over here. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. One, two, three. Come on, little buddy, it's okay. We're gonna get you home. All right, let's go there. You good? I'm good. Okay. I can't believe this happened, man. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's just go. Dude, hold on, hold on. It'll be easier if there's just one of us. Okay. You know, put them on my back and then you can keep them standing. Let's try that. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right, help him keep his balance while he gets his back. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Charles. I really am. Hey, don't worry about it, dude. We're going to be all right. Okay, ready? Go, just leave me. Leave Guys. me behind. Dude, I can't just leave you out here. Is that a campfire over there? Guys, I think I see one. Holy crap. Mister. Hey. Uh, hey, man. You, you, you think you can help us out, man? Huh? 
We went snowboarding earlier, and my boyfriend fell and broke his ankle. He can barely walk. Yeah, he's, we've been carrying him like all day. He's, he's hurt really bad. Yeah, all right. Huh. Yeah, all right. Okay, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, come on, you might sit down, yeah. Yeah, hey! Hi! Hi! How you doing? Hi! Huh? Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Gnarly's Summer Camp. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, so do you know where Crescent is, how you get down there from here? We need to get to the van so we can help our buddy out here. She broke a leg, huh? It's okay, man. I can fix it. I can fix it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Drink it. Drink it. It's good for you. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey. It's expensive, man. Don't, don't spit oh, it out. Yuck, it's disgusting. It's going to help your leg. Oh, I'd rather yeah. die. All right, dude. Could you just, like, hurry it up, man? We gotta, we got to get out of here. Chill, Jocko. Man, you guys were walking all day. Relax. Huh? It's gonna hurt. This guy's okay. creeping me out. Okay, ready? I know, right? Oh! 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 oh. You okay? She goes. So, uh, where are you from, man? I'm from the land, Great North Canada. So you speak French? Oui. <laughs> Buddy. So, so do you partake in this uh, activity frequently? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, camping out here in the winter, in the cold. Yeah. This guy's yeah, fun. I love it. I love it. It's just so beautiful out here, you know? You got You know, the world's, the world's such a unique place, you know? It's like Alaska. It's... So, how long have you been here? About a week. Dude, a week? Yeah. And this? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. No, that's impossible. To know the limits of the possible, Go beyond them into the impossible. So, who writes your lines there, MacGyver? It's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's beautiful and all, but like, there's nothing to do, you know? I mean, seriously, we spend like most of our time playing video games and going to school and snowboarding and dancing. You know? I just, I want a real life, you know? I want to be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, you know? I don't want to be like my parents stuck in this town forever. You know, there's a, there's a story an old man once told me. It had to do with uh, a man and, and a bird. Can you you got a bathroom in there? A bird at a very young age. I think you probably have anything in there. With a rope to a very short stick stuck in the ground. I wonder if they're looking for us. Hey, Tina. It's Kim. Hey. Do you know where the kids are? No, I thought they were at your house. I don't know. I have a note, but it doesn't say where they're going. Oh, that boy. I'll make some calls. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. For years, every day this man went outside, and every day that bird... Was that a wolf? ...was walking around... This guy's crazy. Feathers. That it had made we years before. The bird never knew that it had the potential to fly free. What does it mean? What do you think it means? I think it means people just. My parents are gonna be really worried. I wanna get going. They're scared to go into the unknown. Alright, we gotta get going. Thanks, man, for all your help. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good luck with your leg, man. That should help out. Someone's got help in this. <laughs> oh, good luck, man. Huh? Yeah. It's not doing yeah, man, so you good. Too. Yeah. It's like you got it pretty situated up here, though. Thank, thank you, man. Yeah. You know? Come back anytime. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. I got a. Uh, I got this uh, sled for you guys. You're gonna need it.
thunder. Um, I didn't mean to uh, freak out on you back there. It's okay, Joshua. Uh, we're not going to get out of here, are we? My mom is going to kill me. We'll never get to do anything again, Flounder. Sadie, you're too funny. Your mom would be so happy to see you that she'll let it slide. You know, we could always blame Josh. Should have never forced us to go up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't force you to do anything. Okay. I'm blaming it on Flounder. I mean, if he didn't get hurt, we'd be out of here. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean... <laughs> you, you guys are unbelievable. I cannot believe you guys are trying to actually come up with the story to tell our parents. Why don't you try the truth? That is the truth. <laughs> Seriously, he's hurt. Hey guys. We had to his, rescue him. It's not his fault that he ate it down the mountain though. He should have been more careful. I told him to be more careful. Could have happened to anyone. But it didn't happen like to anyone, it happened to him. It always happens to him, okay? So that's all I'm saying. Oh my God, they're really close. Oh, there's another one. I know it's late, I'm sorry. Have you heard anything? No, I haven't heard from any of them, and I'm really, really getting concerned. What about Debbie or Tina? I know that Tina has made some calls. And Sarah's mom, has anyone called her yet? She's probably freaking by now. It's just really getting late, and, and I just don't know where, where Josh would have taken them. Do you have any idea? Keep going. Alright. Um let's head to the trees. Alright. Okay guys. Alright. We huddle up, we can conserve energy, okay? So Sarah, you and Tiff get over here, all right? Hey, Blender. I'm going. How are you doing? How are you holding up? Uh, I can't feel a thing, but from what I've read on the World Wide Web, either means that uh, it could be a good thing or a really, really bad thing. All right. Let us pray. Father. We ask that you would please take us home and keep us safe. Please, Father, please take us home safely. Father, I ask that we lean on each other. And Father, I thank you for letting us get this far and for letting Flounder's ankle not get hurt any worse than it already has. In Jesus' name, amen. Can you be so cold? Are you even listening to me? Oh, thank God, Pastor, you're there. Oh, my God, what are you doing? 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 I can't help it that every time we want to go somewhere, you freak out about it. Josh, she's right. We're going the wrong way. And how would you know? We're not even going down the mountain. Sir, We're you've never flat. been here before. It doesn't matter. I snowboard more than you people do. I know uh, the mountains. You're know, fine. You think you know so much, then go off and get okay, help. Okay, I will. Dude, lay off. No. Nah. Princess wants to go get help. She can go get help. I'm tired of this, man. I'm so sorry, I was so mean to Sarah. She's so pretty and I'm... It's okay. It's okay. It's not your 
fault, honey. Let's just pray they come home safe. Can I pray with you? That would be nice. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah, you can't try to get out of here on your own, all right? I don't need you guys. No, we need to stick together. It's the only way we're going to make it out of this, all right? I can't. I can't yes. do it anymore, Dad. You can. Come on. I can't. Come on, let's go. You don't need to be out here by yourself. I'll make sure we make it home, all right? I'll stick with you. I think this is Gnarly's camp. We're going in circles. Did we just waste the whole day? Yes, we did. I told you we were going the wrong way, Josh. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now, so I'm taking a break. Good, because I have to pee. No, we're never going to find the van. Thank you, Captain Optimistic. Anything else? Yeah, I'm, I'm freezing. We all are. It's Josh's fault, and she pees too much. Up here, up here, all right, so everyone will be able to spot you. Okay, but you just stay here and you do what she said, all right? Okay, you pray and you stay awake. You got me, brother? Yeah. All right. Keep warm. Stay safe. Oh, she's so cold. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. It's so cold. We pray, Lord, that you keep them safe, Lord. Give your angels charge over them and bring them back to us safely, Lord. Father, we pray that you keep them warm wherever they are. Lord, protect us. Longer, I'm going to give a stick. That's it's not going to do us any good if it's a bear. It's a bear. I should go really loud and make myself look taller than it to scare it off, okay? That's why I like you, Sadie. You're so smart. Oh, I'm so cold. I can't feel my face. I can't, I can't feel my ears. I'm so cold. What are you doing? That's our marker. Travis left that there so they could find us. You're still cold, okay? Thank you, Sadie. I'll, I'll break off sticks to make a marker, okay? <sighs>
I'm not blaming you, Josh. There were so many snow machine tracks out there. Nobody would have known which one to follow. I just thought you knew because you said you did. You guys are always blaming me for everything. Putting it all on me. At school and everywhere else we go. To lead. To be the big guy. Hey. You know that's not true, man. You're, you're always pushing and shoving people around like you did Joseph. You know, you want us all to think you're some big know-it-all, and we finally let you. Anyone Anyone can make a mistake, all right? You guys gotta find, you guys have to get out of here, okay? No. No, we gotta keep going. We're not stopping, we're gonna keep going. Don't say that. I can't go anywhere, okay? You guys are just gonna have to go without me. No. I, can't move, I can't move my back, my legs are frozen, I can't do it, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll be all right under this tree, okay? No. Okay, but guys, just go, okay? No. No, I'm not leaving you. I saw those bear tracks and I heard those wolves last night. You actually think I'd leave you here alone? I'm not cruel. I have a heart. I have a heart. You're the only one that <laughs> takes me for who I am. I can't leave you. I'm not walking away from him, Tiffany. I'm not. I can go without us. I'll keep him warm. I'll stick with him. I'm going. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll go on. You guys, just stay warm. <laughs> don't give up. Hey. We're gonna... <laughs> We're coming back. We're gonna... We're gonna back. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Travis is out there, but we have to stay calm and work as a team. Shut up! All of you, shut up! You never contacted me! I know your kids, you hypocrites! Do you think you're the only people that live in this community? Have any of you contacted the truckers? They're up and down this highway all day and all night! Dad, you got a CV? You think you're so smart? Well, you're not as smart as you think you are. Those kids mean something to me, too. They're the only ones that shovel my walker and speak to me. Shame on you. All of you. Get me out of here. yesterday after church. These kids have been out all night. We need searchers now. They said we had to wait 24 hours. We don't have 24 hours. It's 40 below out there. We can't do this alone. No, you don't understand. There's six kids missing. 
What? Oh, for God's sake. No, I'm not coming into work today. The kids are still missing. I'm staying right here. Oh, no, it's a blue van and it says the butler did it. you wearing? Banana. No. It's my kids. The ones in Florida? No, they're... No. No, they're missing. You, you gotta tell everybody I'd get in your CB, get the routers. Look for a blue van. It's, it says the baller did it. Ah, oh, you mean Steve's kids. They're lost. They went bored. Sex seems more like it there, Buttercup. Come on. I need your help, whatever. I got a run to make. Look, if you find the van, I'll go to dinner with you. You got a deal, Gracie. I'll meet you at Cook's for dinner. <laughs> never shows up. That's just like a man. Rescue 9, I'm at the base of Crescent. I found the van, there ain't no kids in it. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break into three groups, okay? We're gonna have one crew go down the power line, one crew go down the gas line, the other crew going down the little trail, the wide trail down off the end, okay? When you're out there, you gotta really look low and pay attention. When people get cold, their mind starts playing tricks on them. They lose their motor skills. Um, you'll see them do odd stuff like take their clothes off. They think they're really hot. They're sluggish. Um, they do the most bizarre things. Um, look for uh, clothing strung all over. Um, could be a lead in onto where somebody is. Uh, it could be down low, hiding in some brush. Um, could be sitting up on the bank. Okay, any questions? Let's go. Come on, let's go get these kids. We gotta bring them back. Can't kill anymore. You know there's more at stake than just yourself. One of us has to get off of this mountain, or none of us will. You don't think I know that? 
<laughs> I know that this is all my fault. You know, I don't care how cold we get. We have to keep going. Oh, don't you dare give up on us! Don't give up on us! I have nothing left to give. Nothing. Do you want roses or carnations? Tiff, I love you. Trust in the Lord and give him thanks. Mom. Dad. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I could have lost it. I can't find a way out. I thought I could, but I can't. <laughs> I'm so cold. God answers prayer. The Lord our God is good. God, you said you'd never give me more than.
Rescue nine, I got one of the kids. I'm on the north part of the bowl. I'm coming back to base. Come on. Are you alone? I got you, man. that I can give to you, your valedictorian for 2009, Miss Tiffany Clarkson. In the air tonight 
and visions of laughter and dancing in the rain. Spring is here and a new life begins. And the haven of rest holds me to his chair. the land. 